What's my YouTube family up to today? Welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I'm going for a visit and I would like to take you all with me. Today we're going to visit Watuka in Guyana. We're traveling up the east bank of Demerara here. And right beside me is the Demerara River. I love all the beautiful coconut trees along the river bank and I just noticed a few benches under the trees. It would be a nice view to sit there and just watch over the Demerara River. We're heading towards Splashman here. If you look carefully, you will see the black water right here beside me. Enjoy the drive with me. We are passing by one of the Blackwater Creek here. Looks nice and peaceful. I love how this place is hilly, white sand and black water. So beautiful. This area is called Long Creek and right beside me you will see a beautiful creek coming up called the Umbrella Creek. There are so many creeks on this highway. You can choose and pick whichever you're comfortable with. Look at this. The drive up here is always beautiful and there is something special about the air up here is just nice, beautiful and soft. I can't explain it. A lot of farming and cattle rearing is done up here. And another thing that I notice is very popular up here. People sell coals. They burn wood and sell coals. Coal is a business up this highway. And this area is where you get some of the sweetest awara and kuru from. This is the Demerara River view watching over from the Watuka deck or landing. It is absolutely beautiful. They have two of the oldest and largest mango trees that I've ever seen before. And they have a nice little arch here to take pictures. And for those who enjoy swimming in a pool, they also have a pool here. I have my tour buddies here with me. Check out this huge hymac bucket that they use to dig the bauxite with. I have never seen a huge one like this. This is absolutely ginormous. And these are the train tracks we still have here in Linden. These trains were the bauxite trains. I believe they used to take passengers into their job site. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that though. I 
Hope you're enjoying this video with me. My brother is taking me to see another hidden gem here in the highway. My brother bought us some freshly baked pastry and salara for the lunch to go. It was so delicious. Sorry for all the shaking in the vehicle. The road is kind of bumpy in some of the areas. And this cheese roll was absolutely delicious. I took a bite for the YouTube family. This water that we're passing by here is natural water coming from the mountains through the rocks and someone put a pipe so they can control how the water is falling. All the villagers come here to get drinking water. The truck ahead of me is transporting timber from the interland and that's another business here in Guyana. We're heading back home now and by the time I post this video, it's gonna be Auntie Dato's birthday. So happy birthday, Auntie Dato. And it's gonna be my Uncle Vish in New York birthday. Happy, happy birthday to you, my Uncle Vish. If you're watching, hope you had a wonderful day as well. As we're traveling back, Hubby stopped to visit some of his cousin up the Seuss Dyke Highway. One of these guys were a little kid and one was a baby the last time I visited Guyana. We made a stop here at one of the local fruits and vegetable stand to get a few things. And of course we grabbed some guinea and white tea here. There's a lot of fresh Guyana fruits and vegetable. I can't pass up on these local stand by the roadside check these edos sweet potatoes peppers everything is naturally grown here in guyana fresh from the farm and i have some guinea here when was the last time you had some guinea big shout out to uncle kuldeep singh i know how much you wanted this guinea and i wanted to bring you back some so badly but by the time we were ready to leave guyana guinea season was over so i'm very sorry about that these were nice and sweet and was melting away in your mouth remember what we say about guinea do you want some guinea skin your lip when we were in school we made fun of all the fruits we had in guyana and of course i got some white tea i didn't had white tea for a very very long time these ones were velvety they were nice and they were sweet we also have different kinds of white tea in Guyana. If you're from a different country and you know this fruit, let me know what you call it in your country. I also want to say thank you to all the YouTube viewers, subscribers, followers. I really do appreciate your love and support. I do have more Guyana video to post, so please stay tuned. Love you guys. Bye for now.